back to Alabama Live on this Friday from food to football. Hey, Fridays are always fun here at the station. Time for our Friday Fever feature. Today we're talking with the guys from Montgomery Catholic High School. The Knights take on ACA tonight at home. And joining us, head coach Kirk Johnson, quarterback Caleb McCreary, and offensive lineman Aaron Gilbert. Guys, thank you so much for coming in. I know it's game day, so it's a busy day. Thanks for your time. Thank you. Thank, no you, for thank you for having us. Coach, you guys made a pretty big road trip last week down south, yes. picked up a big win. What's it like to come back home now and play in front of the home fans? Well, that atmosphere down down south was awesome. You know, uh, McGill Tulane is a sister school to us. Both both Catholic schools under both uh, under the same archdiocese, and so going down there and getting that experience, the big stadium. We stopped by South Alabama, uh, did a warm up there. So that was that was huge. But coming home is is, is even better because you playing in front of you playing on your turf in front of your fans, et cetera, et cetera. So it feels good to be back. Caleb, you guys had an outstanding season last year, one game away from the state championship. This is your your last ride. You're senior season. What are some of your goals heading into the senior season? And I know you'd like to get back to that spot, but but make it win it, right? Uh, yes, sir. One of our goals is just taking it one game at a time. But uh, our ultimate goal is getting back to the state championship and winning it. So, yeah, that's our biggest goal right now. How about the guys protecting you? They take good care of you? Oh, yes, sir. Of yeah. course. Yeah. <laughs> Never worried. Yeah. Tell us about your senior year as well as an offensive lineman. What are some of your goals for the season? And talk about just the senior class in general, how close you guys are as a group. Mm -hmm. So, this senior class, I feel like we're pretty – we're pretty close. We've had these past four years together, especially Caleb. He started since his freshman year, so got a lot of experience, a lot of, a lot of love for each other, trust in each other. But I mean, I, the biggest goal is just finish. You know, there's that one game that we got we been to one time but couldn't finish it, and it's just go every day at practice, just wanting to finish. You know, That's how excited are you to be able to play at home and not take that long two and a half hour bus ride? Oh, I'm definitely excited. It's always fun to be able to be at home, be in front of your friends, your family, and just have don't have a two hour ride home after the game. That's that's fun. Coach, we were talking about the Huntington coaching tree. You guys, uh, I didn't realize how many coaches played at Huntington are now, and you're one of those guys. Tell me about what you enjoy about Catholic. Why is this home for you? Uh, it's, it's home because of what, what they mean to me. Um, they've watched me grow as a, as a young man. I took that job when I was 23, 24 years old into a, into a full-fledged adult, and, uh, and and they walked me through that. You know, um, There's different phases of your life, and they got to see me in one phase and not to see me in another, and I owe a lot of credit in my in my career to those guys, uh, Albert Blackwell, Daniel Varish, Justin Costanza, and Caesar. You know, some of these people took a chance on a guy that nobody knew at the time, and you know, and um, you know, I'm, I'm forever grateful to them. So, and as far as that hunting and coaching tree, we got some of the best in the state. You do, uh, Quinn Hambright and Zach Golson and Matt Johnson, some of the best coaches, man, and I, I love them all. And uh, we we talk all the time, trying to you know pick each other's brains and. Uh, so shout out to Hunter and Mike Turk for kind of creating that tree. Yeah. <laughs> Caleb, talk about on game day. What's your schedule like? I know at some point you, you got to go to your classes, get all that important stuff done. At what point do you flip the switch and go full game mode? Um, right at 3 o'clock. As soon as the bell rings, we go right into um, the chapel, get us a good team prayer in, and then we go right into pregame. We eat, uh, and then we go through a little walkthroughs, and then it's tape, and then get your mind right ready for the game at 7. Coach, what should the fans expect to come out to cheer on Catholic tonight at home? It's the same thing, the standard. Uh, uh, we, we, we went down to Mobile, started kind of slow, uh, got it rolling, ended up pulling the victory out, but now we're back home and hopefully we can come out and um, um, and, and, and play to our standard. Uh, each year, the, you know, you got to jail these teams together because you got, you know, a bunch of different kids doing a bunch of different things, and so we feel like the jail is getting a little tighter each day, so we're excited. I was going to say you have some good-looking kids, but these are young men. They're bigger than, than yeah. I am as well, yeah. so Coach, yeah. thank you so much for bringing in Caleb McCoy. Prairie and Aaron Gilbert. Guys, best of luck tonight the rest of the season. Stay healthy and we'll see you in the playoffs for sure. Go Thank, you so much. Thank you. Go Knights. Go Knights. Go Knights. Congratulations, guys, on a great season so far. 1-0. Let's keep it going. Yes. Yes.